Hello everybody, Phil Willits here. Today I'd like to show you how I paint a spring tree in watercolour. So let's get started. Well, the colours that we're going to use um, Ultramarine, Vern Cinnamon, Permanent Rose, Yellow Ochre, Hooker's Green, Cadmium Yellow, Naples Yellow, and we may use also some cerulean blue which is a lovely blue well first of all have, as you can see I put plenty of water in there um, so we'll mix the colours up and we'll mix first of all ultramarine a nice mix of it awful lot of it there and then we'll mix a grey which is permanent rose in there a bit of ultramarine and it's sort of a purpley grey and I'll just put a tiny bit of permanent of burnt sienna in there maybe I want a bit make it a bit more and it's sort of a, a warm grey and finally probably a little bit of yellow ochre I may not use that so okay that, so that's the that's the three main sky mixes I'm going to use a number 12 brush and we're going to use some tissue just in case the water there's, there's too much water so let's uh, start with the sky uh, to start with okay now um, there's the paper there's the watercolor paper and I'm going to wet the surface with a sponge leaving some of the areas unwet and I'm, because the tree is going to take the majority of the picture so the tree is going to be about that big so I don't really want too much sky but I want a cloud so I'm going to put one big cloud in the middle and bring that then down to, the, to a, a lighter area So using a number 12 brush, I'll start at the top with ultramarine. I'll start at the corner and trying to put a, a big cloud as it were in the middle of the picture. It's so hot at the moment uh, that the paper is actually drying out before I have a chance to, uh, to do it. So I may have to put a bit more water in, in it to soften the edge up a little bit. As I say, the majority, you won't really see much of this because it will be taken up with the, uh, with the tree. But it's amazing how hot it is here. I'm making it a weaker mix by adding water to the ultramarine as I go down. I've also got a tissue if I need to remove some of the excess water when it's drying so fast that I don't really. Now I'm going to put also now the grey that we mixed at the bottom. It's really too hot here, I'm afraid, but anyway, we'll carry on. Leaving some of the clouds. I'll get a bit of a tissue and just wipe that off there. That's not too bad. And as we come back, come down, I want it light. Right, that's not too bad at all. And a little bit of yellow at the bottom where this, the uh, ground's going to be. 
That's yellow ochre. And just gently wipe any surplus up because I, we wanted that to be fairly white or light anyway on the bottom. Okay, well that's the clouds done, so we'll let that dry and then we'll start with the trees. Right, let's, we've, I've drawn the tree on the watercolour paper. Because it's a spring tree, I've, it's a sort of an, a springy sky, a nice bluey sky, not like the winter tree that I did before when it was all a dark, horribly grey um, sky. Because it's a, a, a spring tree, I'm going to try and put bits of light in the uh, tree and the way I'll do that is by using a mix of burnt cinnamon and yellow ochre and it's sort of a, a reddy colour to start with and you'll see it doesn't look like, really doesn't look like a tree at all but the idea is to um, give it a, 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 an undercoat if you like and we can always put other parts make it dark as we go along So that's what I'm, that's what we're doing to start with. Probably won't do all of it. And it's just the same as we did the winter tree really. Because a spring tree, there isn't an awful lot of foliage, it's just the fact it's all spring new leaves. So it's just the same. Branches there. But it's drying very fast indeed. And I'm using a number five brush. I'm going to do the other one. I suppose you could call them sycamore trees. I think that's what they are. And we'll put a bit of a, a rough sort of patch here. And now we'll begin to put a darker colour using ultramarine blue and permanent rose. Which is a, a, door, a sort of grey, is it dry? It should be. Yeah, okay, so we'll start now. Put a shadow there. And we'll start on leaving some of the Some of that's a reddy colour showing through.
So we just carry on. Get the paint a little bit thicker. A bit more ultramarine blue. And now we'll start the other tree. A bit more of the foreground in. And we'll start this one. Probably switch to a smaller brush to do the other twigs, the smaller twigs. The whole idea really is to give it a, an air of um, spring, if you like new life. Right, well I'll get a, a smaller brush and this one's a um, script liner. Using a bluey mix again, you find with a bluey mix as the as the, um, the branches are, are, as go smaller, so the blue, when we put the, eventually put the leaves on won't show quite so much, sort of partially disappear and then when we put the leaves, drag, drag the leaves on then finally is really just to darken any area that once needs to be darkened. Exactly the same really as we did the winter tree, those of you that saw the other film And it's just the same, just carry on putting the twigs in. And as I said, I think in the other film, you just literally flick, go up, and flick it up, like that. Plenty of water on the brush. Following the, the drawing that I did, but uh, not necessarily... Um, to the letter as it were, altering as I go along if I feel that it needs to be altered. I think I shall put another branch there. And we will have to, I've just seen that I've smudged that there, but it doesn't really matter with the leaves will cover that. But you have to be careful about uh, smudging. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do some branches there. And when we've done this little section, we'll just have to let that dry. Mix a bit more paint up. And we'll do these lower branches. I'll just have to leave that though for a bit. Putting a darker colour on some of it up, some of it. I 
it sort of dances over the paper really because it's a, a not surface and so it helps painting these uh, little branches and some longer ones here and then finally these few here and then we'll have to let it dry before we go any further with watercolour it always dries lighter than you think which is I, th I think it's a good thing because Right, we'll let it dry now. Right, that's dry now. Just to put a little on there. And now we'll get some green using a number 10 brush. Hooker's green and cadmium yellow mix to give a nice springy green, the side get the side of the brush and gradually put it in like so bit at the top there as well, the bottom there. And now we'll dark the darker much darker colour for the bottom of the tree I'm not doing all the branches, I'm just sort of missing hopefully to give the impression that some leaves are coming through.
you know, a darker, bit of darker green here and there. Using the smaller brush, actually, the uh, number five one. Bit yellow on the front to give it a bit of a light, and maybe even a touch just here and there. And that's about it. That's a, a spring tree. I um, hope you've enjoyed that. I hope that'll be helpful to you. And don't forget to subscribe. So see you again. Cheers.